Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, July 29th. I almost just said April. Uh, I realize that we are not in April, but, but July 29th. Uh, this month, if you, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Libra, uh, let's see what is going on for you here this week. And, all right, yeah. Uh, your overall energy is the fruit of the dead. Uh, this is a card of abundance. So I feel like there could be an abundance of, it's a card of abundance of pretty much everything in your life. So there could be an abundance of opportunity this week as well. It's also a card of knowledge, and it says do not uh, accept things at face value, basically. It's a card of being a detective. You get these detective cards every single night in your daily readings for the most part. Like, you get the Page of Swords a lot, which is you, but... You get that card a lot. You get other cards that represent digging into things. So I feel it would be a great time for you to do research into anything that you want to start, anything you want to do. Could even be doing research into people in your life, pretty much anything. But I feel like it would be, this is a card of needing to go further in whatever it is that you're trying to learn about. Uh, first, you have the Four of Diamonds here, Libra. This is a card of stability. Uh, that, well, really, well, it is, but <laughs> really this card is about stability in your finances. I'm just getting stability. Just plain old stability. So I feel like your life is about to become more stable, more predictable is what I'm also getting here as well, more even. Again, that makes a lot of sense. You always get like the king of diamonds, queen of diamonds in your daily readings as well, uh, several times a week, if not every single day. And to me, um, those cards are cards of more predictability. It's like maybe there has been a lot of chaos in your life over the past few months, or maybe there's been a lot of unpredictability. This is things being more predictable, and I feel like that kind of will remove anxiety. I mean, that shows up here in your reading, kind of removing anxiety, removing um, just kind of like weird feelings and things like that. feels very good to me. Uh, next, you have the Two of Spades. I feel like some of you went through a breakup situation. I'm also getting a weird message as well. I feel like some of you just haven't, it's like you have been interested in people, but I feel like it just never goes anywhere. So I'm getting like, it's not even a breakup to me. Um, I do feel for some of you, obviously you went through a breakup, but to me, it feels like having a hard time. It's like you feeling like people are not interested in you or something like that. It's popping into my head. So I feel like some of you um, could be having challenges with that as well. Uh, I don't think it's anything wrong with you, Libra. I feel like it's just like the energy or something like that, but I feel like it could have been like a hit to your self-esteem if that message is for you. For others, this could be just any other type of change. I don't know, a billion change cards this week for all signs that I have read for so far. So you could just be changing jobs, getting a new job, starting something new with this. It seems like a lot of people are doing that. This happens every single time when we get to the end of like a Mercury retrograde or whatever. Or when we get to like the end of these retrograde cycles, um, people just seem to uh, create change, which is, you know, the the point of a retrograde. Uh, next you have the Ace Heart, so love coming in for you. Definitely feel like there could be love coming in for you here. New love, I would say. Um, Ace Heart is a new, a new love offer coming in. So I feel like there could be love coming in. And this is also your emotions overflowing, but positive. This is positive emotions in your life. So I feel like there could be more positive emotions coming in for you. You have two cards of the home here as well. You have the four of diamonds and the ace of hearts. These are all cards I consider cards of the home. They just represent the feelings of the home, safety, security, comfort, protection. Taurus had a very similar message. Um, so I feel like a lot of you could just be feeling those feelings this week, feeling more secure. Like I said, predictability is... Uh, what comes up for you, which is a different word that, than I used for Taurus. So I feel like your life is becoming more predictable, more, uh, yeah, more predictable. I feel like it, it, it's going to provide a sense of comfort is what I would say with that card. In your challenge position, you have the three of spades, yeah, and you have the king of hearts. So some of you could have gone through a breakup here, obviously, in your challenge position. It could have been with a water sign or, um, again, if you have that weird thing that I was talking about earlier where it's like you are having a hard time getting people interested in you, this could, again, just represent that being a challenge for you. Funny enough, the king of hearts is called the house. So... <laughs> It's a card of the home, and you have another card of the home here. So some of you could be having or could have experienced in the past um, a, a lack of predictability. So again, if this is not love for you, Libra, to me, this would be uh, just a lack of predictability, things being more chaotic and being less predictable in your life. That's just all that keeps popping into my head in your reading for some reason. And that's all I get here. But again, I feel like some of you, like, like I said, it's weird because I feel like saying, Libra, you are very attractive. I, you know, again, even just thinking to all of you Libras I know, very attractive. So I feel, but I feel like there's some sort of hit to the ego here. I don't know why this keeps popping up, but I would really worry about it. I feel like it's about to change. Uh, in your solution position, you have the, look at this, Queen Hearts, change in direction of love. Seven of Clubs, progress. Seven of Clubs is considered to be a 
kind of minor challenging card, but since it's showing up in your challenge in your solution position, it's much more positive. And to me, it represents progress, making kind of having some sort of breakthrough. It's called the mice, and it represents like you know mice chew through a wall, but they're they're very slow, right? It takes a mouse a long time to chew through a wall. But uh, coming up in the solution position, it says you have been able to chew through the wall. So I feel like you are making some sort of progress in probably multiple areas of your life. I don't think this is one area. Queen of Hearts is a change in direction in love. So I feel like if you've been experiencing these problems or been having a hard time in love, there could be love coming in. Again, if you're not interested in love, it's probably just progress in work or business. If you've been having a hard time getting a job maybe, or maybe you're trying to get a promotion or stand out, this could be progress for you in one of those areas. And finally, your outcome is the Joker and the King of Spades, you coming up in a very strong position. Joker is like the fool. It just says, take a leap of faith. I feel like some of you could be taking a leap of faith at this time. Uh, the, the King of Spades could also represent a mentor, and it could be male, female, whatever. I don't attach sex to my cards, so it could be a mentor or a boss who wants to help you at this time in any area of your life. So definitely uh, open up to help and allow people to help you uh, with those two cards. But uh, overall, I would say progress looks and I feel like some sort of breakthrough. I feel like it's bigger. It's more than just progress here, Libra. This is like a breakthrough in multiple areas of your life. So I definitely like to see that. But uh, thank you for watching and definitely enjoy your week.